Hey everyone, Tuesday update in the immortal words of David Lee Roth. Heard you missed me, I'm back. Didn't get any videos out uh, recently because I was down on a golf junket with a bunch of buddies in the Lake of the Ozarks uh, in Missouri and just got back to Vegas last night. And anybody that's been on a all boys trip, one that we've done for 25 straight years in a row, an annual event over Kentucky Derby weekend. Um, you know how those things go. So nonetheless, uh, I'm back. We've been rolling. And we got a couple big plays today. Stay tuned for those. Quickly, I want to, even without the video yesterday, I want to thank everybody who jumped on board my Major League Baseball game of the year. And that was the Pittsburgh Pirates minus a run and a half plus 155 against the LA Angels. They won four to one for eight units. So uh, we're rolling again with back-to-back -to -back top picks there, one in the NHL today. But let's talk about, well, this game here tonight between Oklahoma City and Dallas. And I have a premium play in this game. Um tonight uh, on the side we're going to talk about the total and more than that a player prop now in the early game I'm not interested in laying 11 and a half points in an NBA playoff game in round two now Boston just to briefly touch on that one Boston has a tendency to be the best team in the NBA or one of the worst, and there's no gray area in between. And that boils down to some poor coaching from time to time. Are they the most talented team left standing in the NBA? Possibly. Minnesota, who we took last night over Denver, might have an argument for that since they're 6-0 and straight up and against the spread in the playoffs. Wow. And if you recall, about three weeks ago on the Hoops Happy Hour show with Griff Murphy, I did, um, previewing the NBA playoffs, I said that Minnesota was my pick to win the West, and I wasn't uh, interested in Denver. People were commenting on there like I was crazy. But nonetheless, the Cavaliers uh, have Donovan Mitchell and a couple others. Allen not playing for them is a big, big problem. Um, but I'm not interested in laying 11 and a half in any NBA game because sometimes, you know, a well-rested Boston team should be super prepped for this game. Uh, they should be, can they name the score? Maybe. Yeah, because Cleveland was in a grueling uh, series with Orlando and then, you know, got turned right around and play arrested. Celtics team on the road. Garden should be rocking tonight, but w would a 20-point Boston win surprise me? No. You know, would a outright Cleveland win surprise me? Yes. Would a Boston six to nine-point win surprise me? Not at all, either. So they're just, I don't see value there. You know, FYI. In this game, uh, I like, I'm like. i going to lean over a little bit on 218 and a half. Um, you've got superstars all over the floor for both teams, uh, especially Oklahoma City. Uh, Donkey and Irvin. Uh, Irving for uh, Dallas is no joke. Um, Oklahoma City is going to want to push the pace. They're well-rested. They're young. They're confident. Uh, they like to go up and down the floor. If Dallas wants to win games in this series. They have to counter that and kind of do the same thing. I like the, and this opened up at 215. It's up to 218 and a half. This would be a small lean, but I think the better bet in this game is a player prop. And we've been talking about player props for weeks on these free play videos and how you should be betting them. You know, I've got a four unit prop. Um, in the early game tonight between Cleveland and Boston, it's going to be easy money. It's a weak line. But nonetheless, I think Kyrie Irving over 25 and a half. If Dallas is going to win the game, the spread's three and a half. Dallas is going to win the game. He's going to have 25 to 30 points. 
I, I think he knows that. I think the coach knows that. I think the team knows that. Um, Donkey's going to have his, but Irving has to have his. You know, I think over, and that's it. Let's see, look at that. That's minus 105 to minus 110. We're throwing a 50 spot on, in my opinion. I think he can have a big game. And Oklahoma City is more than willing to give it up on the perimeter at times and just run the floor and try and outscore everybody. That's been their modus operandi all year long. Uh, a recipe for success that has got them in you know, the second round of the postseason. So, FYI, over at DocSports.com, coming off a four-pack with an eight-unit Game of the Year winner, plus $2,105 for a $100 player, the last two days in Major League Baseball, we have a six-unit top pick on a two-pack. Uh, we also have a NHL six-unit play, 10-4 and four on the year, 14 top plays in the NHL, 10 of them have cashed. We've cashed our last three picks in the NHL for plus 1,300, including a six-unit play a week ago today that was the winner. Doc Sports, that's where you need to be today. We've got a free 60 bucks link in the description below. Or on the website, there's a tab that says free 60 bucks. We'll park it in any new account. Don't like me? That's okay. I don't care. You know, there's 12 other guys, uh, 11 other guys over there and some consensus services and other things over there and a ton of free information that costs you zero. 95% on the stuff of the website's free. If you have any confusion, you can call the 800 number on the uh, homepage there. Real live customer service. You know, turn the clock back to like 1980, 1990. When you could call a big company and talk to a live customer service rep that you can understand, and they actually are there to help you. That's old school. Doc Sports, we got that. So be sure and take advantage of that free 60 bucks. You can get both those cards for free. If you've been if you're a new member, we'll park 60 bucks in your account, and they come with a profit guarantee. Doesn't get any better than that. As we mentioned, we've got NBA um I didn't mention this, but we've got WNBA coming starting next week. Yeah, Caitlin Clark going to, Angel Reese going to fire up the league hopefully a little bit. Give it a little traction. Well, Tim Fines, my WNBA handicapper, will be on this these videos next Monday with a WNBA preview. You might want to tune in. We've only gone 60% against the spread or better for the entire season, including postseason, the last two years in a row. Low volume, cherry pick singled out best bets. Proven, proven track record, proven philosophy, conservative approach. You know, nothing flashy, nothing to hype up. Um... Kind of the fable of the tortoise and the hare. Slow and steady wins the race. We'll be giving you a season preview, some free futures bets. It'll be right here on this YouTube channel next Monday. Season starts next Tuesday. Get yourself an early bird package. Get locked in. Let's rock and roll in the WNBA this year as well. Thanks for tuning in. Best of luck tonight.